thing I'm going to show you is the projects tab. This is going to be for your portfolio layout. Uh, whenever you choose portfolio module, any type of portfolio module, you're going to have categories in this project that you're going to assign to that portfolio. And you're going to have the projects here that are going to display in that portfolio. So the first thing you're going to have to do is come down to categories in the projects tab. Then you're going to go over here and you're going to create a new one. So let's just go demo one and we'll add that category. Now that category is an option in the project section. So when I go to projects and I go ahead and add new, there we go. Then I'm going to have that category down here. I'm going to have to select that category because that is now assigning this project to this category so that when I choose that category in the portfolio layout, it knows that this is one that I want it to pull in. So then I'm just going to go ahead and label this demo one. I'm going to go ahead and grab some text to put in. I'm going to head back over here. And then I am going to come down here to the featured image. I'm going to set featured image. The featured image is important because this is going to be the main large image that shows in the section when they click through to the actual article. So you're going to want this in there. And of course, you can set caption, alt text, and description. So we're going to set that as the featured image. Then I'm going to go ahead and publish. Now that's going to be available in my projects, and it's going to be assigned to that category. So when I go to the portfolio, I can tell it to pull in this category, and it'll pull in this article. And one last thing you can do in this project section is come down to tags. And once you get here, all these tags that you put in, if you put these exact tags into your articles, it's going to put this into the skills section. And there is a skills section on each and every page. You can leave it blank if you don't want to put any in. But you do have the option to put skills in on each page for the skills that you had to use for each project. So, of course, there, all you'd have to do is add a new tag. So, we'll just put in demo one, add new tag. Now, if I were to type demo one in as a tag on the actual project, then this would display in my skills. So now you can take and create a category, a project, and assign skills to it all within this project section. And then of course these will all be used in your portfolio layout. So this is just for the portfolio layout.